Just over a year ago, I bought myself a DJI drone and an Osmo action camera and set up my YouTube channel and I began creating videos. Uh, to be honest, most, uh, most of the videos were not great, uh, but to me that didn't matter. I loved creating videos, I was publishing them each month, uh, I began to get more likes and more subscribers, uh, and that feeling was, was brilliant, I loved it. Uh, people were beginning to enjoy what I was creating and uh, wanted to see more, uh, and to me it became a bit like a drug and addiction, uh, and it became, uh, became a passion. Um, I loved uh, going out every month with my girlfriend in the car or the motorbike and uh, to different nice locations. I was flying my drone, uh, was filming great scenery. Um, and then obviously I was coming home, uh, I was sitting on my computer here, um, I was editing videos and I was publishing them on YouTube and getting more and more likes. Um, I did drone tutorial videos as well, which I was helping people and the satisfaction I got out of that was, it was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And, um, and then part of the process of doing all this was that I'd be writing down the video ideas and scripts and spend hours in front of this camera and my computer here. Uh, I was editing the videos and color correcting them and editing to the music. It was great fun and uh, trying to make each uh, video better than the last one. I'd spend also hours watching other TV, uh, YouTube uh, creators and getting ideas from them and filming techniques, etc. And just trying to get some inspiration. So uh, it was a brilliant process and uh, I really loved it. Um, and then obviously the world's changed, COVID hit, etc. Um, but uh, about six months ago, um, I split with my girlfriend, unfortunately. And uh, that meant basically I didn't go out with her anymore. I stopped uh, going out, I stopped flying my drone. Um, I stopped creating YouTube videos, which is what I love doing. Uh, I lost my passion, uh, I lost my mojo, um, and I just stopped. That's it. Instead of thinking of new ideas uh, for my next YouTube video, uh, I was just carrying on with my daily routine. I was just getting up, getting ready for work. I go to work, spend eight hours in the office, uh, and then coming home. Uh, instead of writing scripts, instead of filming, uh, I simply spent more time on other things like social media, my Facebook account, on Instagram. I watched uh, Netflix uh, series as everyone does. I read some books, it wasn't all bad. I played golf, I went motorbiking, I was running, I was mountain biking. Uh, anything but creating new videos. Um, so I began to give myself excuses basically and um, in order not to make more videos. It seemed that uh, I was always too busy. Uh, I kept telling myself that I could start next week or the weekend. Um, I had lots of ideas in my head uh, of videos I wanted to make. I literally <laughs> wake in bed at the early hours like, talking scripts through my head. Um, but uh, in the morning uh, I'd forget them old and I'd carry on with my routine. So uh, for some reason I put off making videos. I'd lost my mojo, I lost my passion and it was easier to concentrate on other things in my life, uh, things that kept me busy and entertained. So uh, what, is, what is mojo anyway? What is it? I guess mojo uh, at its peak is when we're experiencing both the happiness and meaning of what we're doing and communicating this experience to the world and the people that are around us. And what if someone loses this mojo? What if someone loses the passion? Um, I guess um, you could say that they, they become less successful, they become less happy or, or less energetic. I just lost the passion for going out and creating uh, videos and, and getting my YouTube channel going and growing. I was watching everybody else uh, becoming more and more successful. I was watching their subscribers count grow, I was watching their likes grow. Um, and yet I wasn't doing anything myself. And I realized that I was the only one that's gonna do that. There was no one gonna do videos for me. There's no one gonna do any filming for me. They weren't gonna do any creating and editing. It was all gonna be down to me. Um, and it was up to me to uh, change my way of thinking and, um, and get back out there and get back on the horse as it were. Um, and so, uh, the opportunity came around uh, not too long ago. Um, I had some friends who uh, were going to go snowboarding and they asked me if I wanted to go. And I said, yes, of course. Um, they're thinking about snowboarding, something we have here luckily in southern part of Spain, in Granada. Um, we're about three hours away. Uh, and we don't go that often. Obviously, uh, the season of sk skiing is only uh, the winter time. So the last time I went snowboarding was about a year ago. And it started making me think, uh, okay, so this is something that I love doing, uh, snowboarding. 
Um, I haven't done it for a long, long time, uh, over a year. Um, and a similar um, feeling came across with my YouTube channel. And I just thought, why not uh, get this opportunity to do the two things that I've not done for a long time, combine them into a uh, vlogging video type video, and, um, and this would give me a brilliant excuse to get back on the saddle, uh, start creating another YouTube video and uh, publish out there and uh, get me back on track. Uh, and the one thing I've learned in this process of, of actually getting back into doing this is uh, not only did I really enjoy doing the filming, which I'll show you the video in a little while, um, I love being there just, just vlogging with my camera and also the experience of doing something I really enjoy, my passion again for snowboarding, um, combined with a passion of filming and uh, videoing etc. And then coming home, um, I've started writing a script for, for this video and uh, doing a little bit of just research of uh, you know online and what Mojo is and my passion is. Um, and uh, it's one of those things that if you actually, I think the hardest thing to do is actually start. And then once you start doing uh, um, something you really enjoy, you realize that, God, I've missed this, whatever it is, You're playing golf, mountain biking, or whatever. If you, uh, if you procrastinate and you put it off, um, and then you go and do it and you suddenly think, Christ, I love this. Why wasn't I doing this before? Why did I stop? Um, and because it's always a good excuse. So in doing this video, um, I found that um, I've been energized to actually uh, create a video. I've been writing scripts. I've been doing different filming angles and, and just putting so much more effort into this, this one video that I've ever done in all my videos before. Um, and that has uh, inspired me to do even more. I'm, I feel like I've got my mojo back, I've got my passion back. Um, and that for me is the biggest thing I can put across to you guys is to, uh, if you have a passion in life, if you have something that you love doing, just start doing it and that uh, will grow from there. Uh, and your passion will grow and your, your desire to do these things, whatever it is. So uh, that's what I say to you is just, just start and then the motivation will come afterwards. So you don't necessarily need to be motivated to begin with. Um, the main thing is, if you want to go running, put your running shoes on, get out the door, and just go for a little run. You don't need to be motivate yourself to actually go out there and do it. Uh, your motivation will come after you've been running, while you're running, and when you get back home and think, that was brilliant, I'm really glad I started. And then the next day you can do it again, whatever it is in life. Um, so that's the main thing I want to say to you today, is get on with it. Don't procrastinate, don't put it off, write down ideas, etc. but just go there, do it, take the first step. That is the hardest thing to do. Take the first step um, and then from then on, it will actually progress and become easier and you'll enjoy it even more, like I did with this video. So, cheers. Another year. Another year, <laughs> another year. Another year to uh, snowboarding and another year uh, up in the mountains Older, together. Older, hair, wiser, grayer, more grey hair. But, Thank you very much. But the uh, just from there. yeah, the reason is just fucking got to deal what you want to do in life and get positive and don't worry about shit. So uh, here's to getting your mojo back. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. Gosh. Uh, so just wanted to uh, finish off with just one little thing. So uh, there's a little clip I saw on Facebook not too long ago, which I thought was brilliant. Um, and it, it got me thinking. So it said, every morning you have two choices. You can continue to sleep with your dreams or you can wake up and you can chase them. So wake up, get out there and go and chase your dreams.